Celtic tradition, the new day begins as the sun sets. On St Bridget's Eve every year since I was a little girl, I've been going down the fields of our farm with my dad to pick rushes as the last light of January fades behind the hills of Leitrim. That night we gather round the fire and with the rushes scattered across the kitchen floor, we weave them into crosses. Then we leave them outside on our doorstep along with the white cloth on the hedge. St Bridget is said to travel across Ireland on this night, driving her white cow before her, visiting every home and blessing the crosses and cloth as she passes by. The next day we hang the crosses over the doors in our homes and animal sheds to protect all who enter beneath them. While the cloth holds cures for headaches, sore throats and sick animals. On this quarter day, the 1st of February, we celebrate Imbok, Imog, in the belly. A festival of fertility, regrowth, renewal and new life. It's the beginning of spring. See Bridget walks around with a white cow for red ears. She blesses all the lands and houses she visits. Have you got good strong rushes like this on your farm? Yeah. 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 And I had them. They're good for making Bridget's crosses. Mm. Oh, That's the only thing they'll go fast. So tomorrow is St Bridget's Day, which is the first day of spring. And we're all farmers here, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. There's lots happening on the farm, lots of things coming to life again. Yeah. Animals having lots of new babies. Lambs are born, calves. The buds are coming on the trees. Yeah. We mm. see new flowers starting to come out, the grass starts growing again. It's yeah. also a time when we sow things, like our oat seed or our vegetables. We get everything ready for, for planting that will grow all through spring and summer. So have you ever made a St Bridget's cross before? Yeah. yeah. And at home we made a big mass on that side. And did you make them with straw or with rushes? Rushes. Uh, rushes. I'll show you how to make one. So if you have your cross held up like that, you have this one here is on the back of it. Oh, back. The back, so yeah. Does that be like... So put it on the back like the this. Middle. Yeah. Now if you imagine that's the clock. 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Does everyone see the time on their clock? Yeah. yeah. Great. You're going to turn it over now. The clock that's pointing at 3 o'clock. And you're going to bring it and point it over at 9 o'clock. And then catch them and turn. Okay, so now with your next rush, put it up on the bottom. Here. Yeah. And now you're looking at 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. So now with your 3 o'clock rush, bring it over to nine o'clock and give it a nice little squeeze with your other hand to keep it in place. Have, Have you got it over to three o'clock? Yeah. Yep. Yes. Excellent. So now catch that that you just did and turn. And the next rush. Grab another one. You put it at the back on the bottom. Now hold it with your fingers like that and look where three o'clock is and bring three o'clock over to nine o'clock. You're always going to bring three o'clock over oh, to nine o'clock. See the new one that you put in? The new one you put in, it's only that one that's going from three o'clock over to nine o'clock. <laughs> Catch it and turn. And now you have the four legs of your cross made. Okay, get your next rush. You can only get it. Yeah, you're flying it. So you just keep going with that strategy to make this four-legged cross. Keep going with the rush 
at the back at the bottom and bring in three o'clock over to nine o'clock and catch and turn. So I'll keep going with that. Rush at the bottom, three o'clock over to nine and turn. And the bigger it gets, the easier it is to hold your rushes together. And if you don't have rushes, you could make this with something else. Like you could make it with straw, like the straw that we're sitting on. Or you could make it with pipe cleaners. If you let go at all, the whole thing unravels. So you really have to keep a good grip on it. I think I know how to do it now. Once you learn how to do it, you'll never forget. It's like, like learning a, a song. Like a bicycle. Exactly, like a bicycle. So we, used to we put St. Bridget's crosses in the sheds to protect the cows and we bring them to the graveyards and put them on the graves. And we hang the book on our house, over the door. And when we take down our old St. Bridget's crosses, we throw them in the fire. I was only about maybe eight when I learned how to make them. Nine, ten, time eleven. I learned when I was in school. I was in, I think I was in first class, or any of you in first class? Him, him. You are. What age are you? Seven. Well, I was seven, so, when I learned how to make them in school. Nine, ten. My teacher, Miss Woods, brought in loads of rushes, and we went and got rushes too. And when we brought them all in, then she taught us how to make this cross. And there's lots of different types of crosses, but this is the one she taught me how to make. In some of the old houses, when they'd hang up their St. Bridget's cross, they actually wouldn't hang it like this. They'd hang it like that, in that shape. So if you ever go into the really old houses, you'll find some of the old people have their crosses hanging on the wall like that. So you keep making your St. Bridget's cross until it gets as big as you want, <laughs> adding in rushes. And when it gets big, big enough, then you can just tie it off. So get some string and tie the four legs and you can give it a little haircut then, those pieces at the end. And then you're ready to hang your St. Bridget's cross up. So is this all you need to do to make one? That's it. It's not super easy. On St. Bridget's Eve, you might see the biddy boys walk in the roads of Ireland. Groups of young girls and boys dress in disguise, wear masks, funny clothes, sometimes worn inside out and back to front. Tea towels, straw hats, brushes, neck curtains, odd socks and anything else we can get our hands on so that our neighbours don't recognise us. Like Bridget, we travel the roads and fields calling from house to house in our locality to play music, sing and dance to bring good luck and happiness to everyone for the year ahead. We carry a brie jug, a doll made of rushes, with a piece of white cloth wrapped around her to represent Bridget. Knocking at the door, the biddy boys say, Here is Bridget, dressed in white. Give her a penny on this night. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>
visits day, we go fossils throughout the houses on our road. When you hang up your same biscuit spot in your house, you take down that old one and hold it in the fire. 